hello hello my friends welcome to another amazing read how have you been go grab your stuff and let's do this today's story is called the boy and the tigers and it's written by helen bannerman and the illustrations are by valeria petron let's get into this read once upon a time there was a little boy and his name was little rajani and his mother was called ramita and his father was called Kapali and Ramita made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers and Kapali went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely little pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings and then wasn't little Rajani grand so he put on all his fine clothes and he went out for a walk in the jungle and by and by he met a tiger and the tiger said to him little Rajani I'm going to eat you up and little Rajani said oh please Mr. Tiger don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little red coat very well I won't eat you this time but you must give me your beautiful little red coat the tiger said so the tiger got poor little Rajani's beautiful little red coat and went away saying now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle and little Rajani went on and by and by he met another tiger and he said to him hello Rajani I'm going to eat you up and little Rajani said oh please mr. tiger don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little blue trousers very well I won't eat you this time but you must give me your beautiful little blue trousers so the tiger got poor little Rajani's beautiful little blue trousers and went away saying now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle and little Rajani went on and by and by he met another tiger and it said to him <laughs> little Rajani I'm going to eat you up and little Rajani said oh please Mr. Tiger don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings but the tiger said <laughs> What use would your shoes be to me? I've got four feet and you've got only two. You haven't got enough shoes for me. But little Rajani said, you could wear them on your ears. Oh, so I could. That's a very good idea. Give them to me. Now I won't eat you this time. I don't think that tiger was very smart. <laughs> so the tiger got poor little Rajani's beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest, grandest tiger in the jungle. And by and by, little Rajani met another tiger and it said to him, <sighs> Little Rajani, I'm gonna eat you up. And little Rajani said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. And I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, Ah, how can I carry an umbrella when I need all my pores for walking with? You could tie a knot on your tail and carry it that way, said little Rajani. Oh, so I called. Give it to me. And I won't eat you this time. So he got poor little Rajani's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest 
tiger in the jungle. And poor little Rajani went away crying because the cruel tigers had taken away all his fine clothes. Presently, he heard a horrible noise that sounded like and it got louder and louder. Oh dear, there are all the tigers coming back to eat me. What shall I do? said little Rajani. So he ran quickly to a palm tree and peeped around it to see what the matter was. And then he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing which of them was the grandest. And at last, they all got so angry that they jumped up and took off all the fine clothes and they began to tear each other with their claws and bite each other with their great big white teeth. And they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where little Rajani was hiding. But he quickly jumped behind the umbrella and the tigers all got hold of each other's tails as they wrangled and scrambled and so they found themselves in a ring round the tree. Then when the tigers were very wee and very far away, Little Rajani jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers, why have you taken off all your nice clothes? Don't you want them anymore? But the tigers only answered, <coughs> Then little Rajani said, If you want them, say so, or I'll take them away. But the tigers would not let go of each other's tails. And so all they could say was, <coughs> So, Little Rajani put on all his fine clothes again and walked off. And the tigers were very, very angry. But still, they would not let go of each other's tails. And they were so angry that they ran around the tree trying to eat each other up. And they still ran faster and faster and faster till they all melted away. And there was nothing left but a great big pole of melted butter or ghee as it is called in India round the foot of the tree. Now Kapali was just coming home from his work with a great big brass pot in his hands and when he saw what was left of all the tigers he said oh what lovely melted butter I'll take that home to Ramita for her to cook with. So he put it all into the great big brass pot and took it home to Ramita to cook with. When Ramita saw the melted butter, oh, she was so pleased. Now we'll all have pancakes for supper. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter and she made a huge big plate of the most lovely pancakes you've ever seen. And she fried them in the melted butter which the tigers had made and they were just as yellow and brown as little tigers. Ooh. And then they all sat down to supper and Ramita ate 27 pancakes and Kapali ate 55 but little Rajani ate a hundred and sixty-nine because he was so hungry. <laughs> the end. What did you think of that story? Well, I don't know. A <laughs> hundred and sixty-nine pancakes. <laughs> I can't eat that many pancakes. I love pancakes, but not that many. What about you? <laughs> well... Thank you so much for spending your time reading with me. Until the next time, it was amazing. You, my friends, you were amazing. It was so amazing. And keep on reading.